Hey, what's going on there? Jason's here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate a Yaystar SRS PBX with a high vision video intercom indoor and a door station. Once the integration is down, we'll be able to establish a video and audio call between the indoor station and the door station. Well, in this video, we will take S300 and these two intercom devices. DSKH6320 indoor station and DSKD8003 door station as our example. They're deployed in the same local network as showing in the network topology. So let's just jump in. Before configuring the PBX and intercom devices, we're supposed to do some preparation work. That is configuring Hikvision IVMS 4200 client, which is a management platform for Hikvision devices. We need to download the client installation package from the official website. Install it on our PC, then we run this client and create a super user account as an administrator. We can use the account for the next login. Check the physical connection of devices. Now, as we can see, the two devices have been detected and listed in the online devices area. Let's add them to the device for management area. We're going to add them in the device for management area. Select door station. Click add to client. Specify the nickname. So we can call it door cam. The IP address has been filled in automatically. As for the port, keep the default value. The username and password are used to lock in the door station. Here's the default account information. Now we enter the account info. Click on add. The door station has been added to the list. Well, for the indoor station, just duplicate the work we've done before. Now let's check our PBX settings. Lock in the web GUI of the PBX. Get to the extension setting page and create two zip extensions for our two high vision devices. Let's make extension 1000 for the door station, extension 1001 for the indoor station. Besides, to ensure video and audio call works normally, we also need to configure audio and video codecs on the PBX. Click on General, go for a SIP, then we choose Codec, find U-Law and H.264. These two codecs must be selected. Our next work is going to be pretty simple. Just register these two endpoints on our PBX. Open the IVMS 4200 client again. Go to Device Management Area. Select DSKD8003 Door Station and click Remote Configuration. The first step, go to Intercom, then Intercom Protocol. Select SIP Control. Click on Save. Then we go to Network, choose SIP Settings and register the device to the extension 1000. Just fill in the S300's IP address and PBX UDP port 5060 by default. Of course, the following extension account information, don't forget it. The number and display name can be set to the extension's number too. Wait for a few seconds. Get back to the setting page and wait till the registration status turns to registered. It works now. Then we configure dial setting. Back to the intercom. Choose dial. Set the card name to the indoor station's extension number, which is 1001. When a guest press the dial button on the door station, the indoor station will ring. And of course, don't forget to adjust the audio and video settings. Get to video display, then we choose video and audio. In video type, choose video and audio. Make sure the audio encoding type is G711 underline U. The video encoding type is STD underline H264 and click on save. To configure Hike Vision DSKH6320 indoor station, we still need to access the device management page. Choose the indoor station and click on remote configuration. Then we get to intercom and go to intercom protocol. Select zip control and click on save. Meanwhile, go to network, find zip settings and register the device to the extension 1001. Just fill in the S300's IP address. PBX UDP port, the extension account information and the following contents. Wait for a few seconds till the status turns to register. Now we can choose link network configuration down here. 
a main door station IP address. Just enter the particular IP. In main door station type, select main door station. Now, our S-Series PBX and Hike Vision Video Intercom stations are connected as a unity. Cost between the indoor station and the door station are ready to go. Okay, hope you guys like this video. Please visit our document center if you need a detailed menu. And of course, as usual, don't forget to subscribe. More updates? Go to yaystar.com.